Today, we're gonna to check out Runway ML's camera control feature and take more control over our AI generated videos. So last time we covered the basics of uh, image to video, but today we're gonna to log in, head down to generative session, and we're gonna come here to camera control. So what we need to do now is add an image and basically describe our shot. So I'm gonna go select from assets and go back to this image we played with in the last video, double click. I'm gonna add a description or a prompt. I have a woman surrounded by burning temples looking around at the fire. So you'll see here, we have a bit of a guide as to what this does. I can also click here and there's actually some keys, some shortcut keys we can use for this particular video. But simply by coming down to here, we can also work on moving left and right. So if I go a horizontal pan across, I can have the camera move across so she's currently in the center. Maybe I have her move off to the left-hand side. I can also tilt a little bit. So since I kind of want to look at her and sort of look past a little bit, maybe I decide to tilt out this way. So she's actually kind of, we're actually kind of looking away a little bit more. But we can also tilt and look up or down. I'm gonna sort of look down just a little bit so you can see how we change that angle. And we also have vertical. I can look down or up that way as well. So you can see already just how easily the movement influences the framing with this little guide here. But I can also do things like roll if I want to kind of roll the camera. I'll just have a, like a minor roll here and I can also zoom in or out. I'm gonna actually zoom out a little bit to sort of see more of the scene. So you can see already what we've been able to do with camera control to influence our image. I've done a whole bunch. I've changed a whole bunch of settings here. Let's generate a 10 second video and see what runway produces. And now our video has been generated. I'm gonna hit play. You can see just how dynamic that shot is and how well the AI has adapted to the scene. It's even added elements in the background pretty successfully. But this was the video that we created last time to show you the difference. Nothing too crazy, but back to our new one and you can see how much more camera movement we've got. And coming back over, there's also a static mode. So you keep the camera as still as possible. If I click that, essentially this will keep it locked in position. And this is a great way to stop the camera from moving around so much. So I'm going to hit generate again to compare the two. And you can see just how still the camera is and she's moving in a very minimal way, just kind of looking around. So I do think moving the camera is definitely a better result, but this just sort of shows how you can use that. The little hair flicker, I think is a nice touch. So it does do a pretty good job with what you give it. So coming back over again, I'm gonna to go to static mode, turn that off. This time I'm gonna try something a little bit different. With the zoom, we're going to actually try to zoom right in. And keep in mind, I can actually grab this area up here and move things around. So if I really decide that I want to zoom in close to the face here, I can do that. I can even roll. Let's just get like a real sort of different kind of roll here. I'm gonna try and tilt down, move up and kind of point down at the top of her head. So now we're really experimenting with the 3D space of what we're doing here. And again, with the pan, we can still pan around a little bit so it can actually kind of be facing the top of her head, looking down sort of towards from this angle. And of course we can move horizontal, but for now I'm gonna leave this as it is. And then I'm also going to add something here such as smiling, which seems a little bit crazy considering the scene, but because she looks so serious, I just wanna see how well Runway handles the smiling whilst doing the camera movement. She gets out of view and then just appears smiling. That is a little bit creepy and not exactly the best result, but with a little bit more adjustment, you could probably make it work. So now we're gonna try something different. I've got out my dog image here, which I've used previously. I'm going to clear all these settings. And what I'm gonna do is the dog is looking around. I'm gonna move the camera and I want to kind of like tilt the camera to be looking off in this other direction at some of the buildings. So I'm just gonna remove my prompt and just essentially adjust to try and get this camera to look away. Now I'm gonna try this without adding a prompt just to see how well Runway handles it. But I'm gonna to stick to a five second video just so we can get through this a bit quicker. I'm gonna hit generate. And again, we got a little bit more dynamic movement. But I kind of wanted to look away a little bit more. So I'm going to type in here, 
a dog in a post-apocalyptic city panning away to look at the buildings. I'm going to change the pan to the other direction just to see what results we get. Now it's still zooming out but kept focus on the images provided so turning away seems to be a little bit more difficult but it just goes to show you when you experiment with this stuff you can kind of find out where the limitations are. But for now let's move on to this image which we used in the last video and I was able to get this result last time with the simple image to video function. Slowly zooming through the scene and kind of exploring inward. I'm essentially going to use the settings instead of zooming in I'm going to try to zoom out. And we're going to also roll a bit and just kind of move off to look up to the sky. So we're going to really tilt up to try and focus a little bit more on these jellyfish. I'm going to add a prompt. I have tilt up to the sky to see jellyfish flying upwards. And it's popped a jellyfish right in the middle of the scene. It's not really what I was looking for, but the video otherwise is pretty solid. Let's just remove the prompt this time. Try one more time. In this instance, we got a much better result by not adding a prompt. So you can see sometimes adding a prompt is good. Sometimes you can get some undesirable results. So this can be a great way to experiment and have a bit of fun with runway. So playing around with these settings using the visual guide can help you position the camera, but it's not a solid and exact science. You need to recognize the limitations of the AI video feature. Definitely getting too creative with your prompt can make things a lot better or a lot worse but i highly recommend going in and having a play to see what you can make happen with this and if you want more coverage on runway features and how to use runway leave a comment below and uh, i hope you have a bit of fun playing with this as i did and uh, so check it out and if you like the video please consider giving it a like that is the video for today guys hope to see you again next time thanks for watching have a great day